Hi everyone, welcome to the update of 24th April. First, two big news. Kotak Mahindra has been banned from onboarding new customers. There are some irregularities and weaknesses in the platform that RBI has talked about. This will cause a lot of problem for Kotak tomorrow in the early morning hours. Kotak Mahindra is among the top banks in the country and such large action is actually unprecedented. In another news, there will be a demand shortfall likely for Coal India. There was a contradictory article from NDTV Profit couple of days earlier. My general thought is the private mines will now come into action the coal demand will in general subside because solar capacity across country is getting activated so coal india will be under pressure for sure so i sold off my family silver today there was a lot of coal india lying for dividend yield purposes primarily mm-hmm. and market was mostly like yesterday only it started up consolidated there was a very very tight range of nearly 70 80 points for the entire day for nifty but the reversal post lunch was back today just after two the markets reversed a lot of stocks let go of most of their gains from the day which does not reflect in the nifty levels yesterday by mistake i used another wix level sorry about that i was myself confused when did wix reach 17 so wix crashed 20 percent yesterday for the month it is down 20 percent this is very strange usually in election periods wix goes up a lot fidi data is not yet out it is right now around 5 30 but i don't have any different expectations fis would have sold especially towards the last one one and a half hour tis would have bought the same amount reliance continued with the correction not sure what is happening there because the results were good but why there is no appetite in the market for reliance tcs and airtel both came under profit booking in the later part of the day after two o'clock reliance tcs hdfc See, Airtel, all of them fell a lot. ICICI stood its ground throughout the day. It did not fall even post lunch. The results for ICICI are coming up on Saturday. Bitcoin went nowhere, 66,000. Gold hovering around 70,000. S&P and Nasdaq were up a lot yesterday. There is a huge expectation of the results coming up. Today is an important day in the US markets. Google, Microsoft, and Meta come up with the results. I expect all three to give fantastic results. Specifically, Meta, it is already 500 plus, I believe. Amazon is coming up on April 30. Apple on May 2. Apple has also announced a new event on May 7. They will probably release the new iPads and few more gadgets like their pencil, keyboards, etc. If they don't release iPads powered by M3 this time, market is not going to take it. Tesla's results yesterday were lukewarm, but they announced new models, so market took it well. Otherwise, the stock would have fallen a lot. Tesla is already down about 50% from its 52-week high. In the later part of the video, I'll cover why consumption stocks are under severe pressure right now. We made a small change in the sector snapshot today. There are 10 stocks now, not 5. The bottom 5 are marked in grey. Idea was that in top 5, some of the important stocks were getting filtered out where there was a lot of price movement. Aerospace and Defense is the darling right now for the market. HL up 4%, Mazagan Docs another 2.5%, BEL 0.9%, Bharat Dynamics and Data Patterns up 65 and 6%. Today, I finally got fed up of seeing these stocks go up every day. I decided to buy data patterns, a little quantity only. If it falls, I'll average lower. I'm okay to see losses on this, but I don't want to miss the growth in this sector right now. I have HL and Mazagan right now in the portfolio besides data patterns. Metals and mining was shining today. Hindustan Zinc up 1%, JSW 3.6%. The smaller company, this is why I included the remaining five. Sale 8.1%, NMDC 5.7%, even Hindalco which does not make big moves it was up 4%. So the sector was up 3%. Big deal. These are all very large companies. Let's check oil and gas. This had two exceptional price movements today. MRPL 10.75%, Chennai Petroleum 15.82%. That stock was 900 rupees yesterday. It has declared a 55 rupee dividend today. The results were not that good, but the dividend was fantastic and people really want the dividend. What was down? Telecom came under pressure. Bharti Airtel had been going through the roof. Bharti Airtel did not correct much. In fact, that too was towards the end of the day. But Indus Tower corrected 3%. I took some positions yesterday. They are in loss. Vodafone was up 10% yesterday. Today it was down 10%. I saw profit yesterday. I am again back to loss today. This is something that traders have to be prepared. Either book the profits before the day ends or be prepared for a complete reversal next day. Let's check how the Nifty 50 did. Let's look for some big towers. JSW, Tata Steel that we already saw, Indalco we saw, mostly the metal pack. Cipla was down a lot yesterday. 
it was up today tata consumer was down on very heavy volumes after the results results were not good i'm going to explain the phenomena in the later part of this video nothing else exceptional which catches my eye let's check bank nifty bank of baroda has been under pressure for some time now besides that mostly the index was up hdfc recovered 0.27 percent icici 0.6 percent kotak will have a bad day tomorrow unless there is a clarification issued by the bank nifty 50 these days nifty 50 usually does slightly better hl unusually high volumes let's look for towers dlf up one percent varun beverage is up one percent zomato again down bl up pedalite up trent up interglobe which is indigo airlines up ambuja up gale up godrej Zydas down bosch down icic prudential life insurance down three percent lot of big towers of two or three percent just a quick peek of a new concept i'm coming up with a new video which will explain how we can select stocks from a specific sector the video is currently under production and will be released later today or tomorrow in terms of my positions i didn't sell anything some of the stocks did well mass financials has mass financials has come up with a good result the stock should do well tomorrow rec is still in loss but a bit of recovery idea reversed from yesterday it was up 10 percent yesterday down 10 percent so again back to losses i bought data patterns today mahindra mahindra finance the current issue of 150 crore default is too small last time also there was one issue in one branch and the stock fell like anything and in the subsequent one month there was a lot of upside on the stock for a trader this is a good opportunity to capitalize i bought mrpl i also bought fusion microfinance i'll talk about the strategy in the new video which will be released soon this is long term not for trading so why are consumption companies reporting bad numbers this time and bad forecast let's try and discover with an example let's start with march 2020 this was the result pre-pandemic all was good till then sales of 120 crores and a profit of 18 crore which is approximately 15 percent then all hell broke loose pandemic struck sales went down lockdowns happened 90 crore significant reduction in sales about 25 percent drop lot of costs are fixed they can't be reduced so we ended up with a loss of minus 5 crore in this year this year was acceptable to most as a bad year march 2022 what happened the sales picked up a bit but there was a lot of inflation globally because supply chains got broken as a result while we broke to, into profit the profit was low only five percent what happened next year economies opened people started going out work from homes ended people wanted to enjoy life everyone was suffocated because of the pandemic so people consumed a lot people bought a lot the sales went up 40 percent also the inflation pressures had subsided based upon the low base of 5 cr this profit increased to 30 cr which is nearly 21 percent against the usual 15 percent this is primarily the benefit of companies leveraging the high prices on top of high inflation they didn't lower the prices but the price of raw materials lowered now what is happening in march 2024 for the year people are done consuming there is uncertainty in the market so sales increased to 160 crores still a growth but 20 crores the profit actually reduced to 25 percent because inflation is back raw material is costly everywhere labor rates have increased and we have caught up with our margin of 15 percent it is not a bad number on a standalone basis it looks bad when we compare 30 to 25 that is not a fair comparison i was saying the same thing yesterday also so march 2024 is a normal year it is not a bad year it looks bad because we are comparing with march 2023 which was an extraordinary year what happened was based upon these numbers stock prices stock market went through the roof fees went high people had unrealistic experience they thought oh this company is growing at 40 percent great let's buy it 40 percent is not a realistic number for most industry besides exceptional one or two years these numbers cannot be sustained by most companies this will happen not just in consumption but most industries where volumes will become reasonable pricing margins will become reasonable over time the growth will not be that high to justify those fees hope this explanation made sense today us market should open in green that is why i took some positions today us markets will hopefully be green a lot green maybe and that will have a rub on the indian markets tomorrow tomorrow is expiry day for india i'll try and close some of my positions thanks for watching i'll see you tomorrow